what's your role in this movie? Uh, well, I'm playing Dane. Dane is um, Riley, uh, Olivia's best friend. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm the gay bestie that every girl needs. Okay, cool. Yeah. So how do you like tap into that without being a stereotype? Uh, it's it's really interesting um, to do. I because I, uh, it is so easy to fall into like cliches of any kind of character. But I just just made a me. You know, I, I figure for me like sexuality, kind of like gender, is just sort of like a part of who you are. So you know, you like it doesn't feel like you have to put on gayness or put on blackness or put on anything. It's just like he happens to like dudes, and he's yeah. also just me. So I love that you said that. Like same person, yeah. just different sexual preference, yeah. and that shouldn't necessarily be your defining exactly. characteristic. But in so many shows and films, like there's always that one character that it's that so over the top, yeah. and he, which and, is and fine. And I'm, and I'm but curious to see because I haven't seen it yet, so I'm curious to see like how it all plays out. I have a lot of like side eyes I have to give in this in, in the <laughs> beginning of this thing. So that's the best. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully they're you know they're subtle and 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 shade filled and fun you know. Are you that type of critical yet funny friend in real life, or how how are you when you're like giving advice to your friends or like what's your personal personality like in real life? I would like to say I'm not, but I think that everyone would say I am kind of that person. Like I, my face, which is funny because this is what I do for a living. My face in real life runs away from me, <laughs> so you can usually tell how I feel in any given moment because my face responds immediately. It's just so expressive. It's very expressive. So a lot of yeah. So I'm probably the king of. Of, of like, yeah, I do a, probably do a lot of side eye. The, the same exact problem, and I hate it so much because you can always tell how I'm feeling at any given moment. There's no way to hide this no, there's no at way all. To hide it. No, and no. are always like Tommy, your face, and I'm, I'm not like what. I'm, like, I'm sitting there like, I'm like, yep. It's just, it just. Cause that's why I, my running joke with Olivia was that I've been practicing my whole life to be her best friend in this film because <laughs> I've been practicing shady looks my whole life. So. I love that. <laughs> yeah. So, have you seen the movie at all yet? I have not. I'm not. Nothing. Really, not even I a saw little bit. Like seconds of it, and we did some uh, some ADR last week. That did a little voiceover stuff. I got to see a little bit of it. It mm -hmm. looked great the 30 seconds I saw, but yeah, I have no uh, no clue. And it, it all happened so fast. It was so much to film in such a short amount of time. So it feels like the memories are f fuzzy about it too. So I'm kind of curious to see what it ends up looking like. Well, you know, I think it's cool that there's like this movie about love because I feel like we haven't really had like this romance movie since the 90s. Yeah. It used to be like romance after romance after romantic comedy after, you know, Fifty Shades of Grey and then all of a sudden no more romances. No more romance. So it's nice that we have a little bit of that back. Yeah. And I want to talk about love with you. Okay. I just want to know your thoughts on like what does it take to fall in love? Like how does that happen? Oh, man, um <laughs> it's it's a million little things, I think, but like um for you specifically, for specifically, how has it happened in the past? Um, humor. Humor. I'm really big on, I love laughing, um, so making me laugh is, is a really good way into my heart. Uh, whether it's friendship or more, it's a really good way to get in. It's just, if you can make me laugh, I just really like, and genuine people. Like, I really, I really enjoy knowing people um, and, and really sort of like sitting and talking and really sort of mining and going as deep as you can with people and sort of figuring out you know who they are at their core and that's who I'm who I fall in love with I fall in love with who you are at your at your core what's a deal breaker for you in any relationship Ooh, um, <laughs> love the person so much that you're just like nah you know, I'm walking away from this now yeah it's it, this is divisive but I have a friend who was dating um, like a diehard um, <laughs> Trump supporter. I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to And I was that. like, could I? I, I mean, I've got friends that are Republicans. We get along really, really well. But like the, the level that he was, like my friend, I probably would have broken up with, with that person as well. Um, you know, I, I, I love debate. So I love people who have different views from me because I like to understand where you're coming from and hopefully let you know where I'm coming from. But there are just some things that I probably wouldn't be able to get over. So I say right now, that's the first one that comes to mind. Yeah, I feel like sometimes people are like, it's just politics. But at the end of the day, a lot of that comes to like your core beliefs, yeah. your identity and your values. And if someone is completely opposed to your mere existence as a human being, then it is a deal breaker. Yeah. Well, so I get that. Yeah, and I told someone, I said, it's not about your belief system, your political belief system so much is your inability to question a person when they're wrong. I said, so, like, I loved Barack Obama, but I didn't love everything he did. And if he did something I didn't like, I was able to say, I don't like it. I said, so for me, that would tell me more about who you are. You could have voted for a person, but if you can't tell me that some of the things that are happening are not okay, then that makes me a little bit 
concerned yeah. about. You can't, you can't just be a blind, loyal supporter all the time. You have to be critical of everything Sometimes. and everyone. Sometimes, yeah. about everyone. You know, because I'm that way with things that I believe in. I'm, I'm willing to break them down and reevaluate my belief in them over time just to make sure that, like, I'm not just following, you know, the crowd, that I'm actually, like, this is my thought. On a side note, I feel like we're getting into like this mm -hmm. heavier train of thinking and talking. What do you think the world needs now more than ever? <laughs> Is it love, sweet love? <laughs> I was not waiting for you to say that, but I love that. That's the best response yeah, ever. I feel like that's... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just wish you sang it to me. Yeah. Should we do it again? What sure. does the world need now more than ever? <clears throat> love, sweet love. There you go. So beautiful. Thank you so much.